For centuries, the world's greatest caviar has come from the Caspian Sea, but today there's a real fear that wild sturgeon could be dying out. The threat to sturgeon in the Caspian Sea is, is very serious. Iranian scientists have estimated that unless poaching is controlled and management is taken care of, we could see the extinction of sturgeon within 14 years. The annual legal caviar trade is worth around $200 million, but poaching and the black market could be 10 to 15 times greater, with even conservative estimates above $1 billion. But the tide is beginning to turn. Consumers are increasingly choosing a more ethical and sustainable alternative, farmed caviar. Five years ago, we used to sell approximately 95% of white caviar. And uh, last year, for instance, 2008, we sold 80% of caviar from the farm caviar. So the trend inverted. Most of them, and I tell you the truth, are preferring the farmed caviar now. And some major retailers have stopped selling wild caviar completely. We made the decision to switch in the autumn of 2008. We had a, a mixture of uh, some wild and some farmed and um, with everything that was really going on in the caviar arena and looking at the quality of farmed we made that decision to switch and obviously the sustainable production was a key key factor as well. Farmed caviar was once the poor cousin to wild, inferior in both taste and quality, but now, despite costing up to 40% less, even professional chefs are impressed. It's much more like caviar. When I remember when I first tried it, it really did seem to taste as if it was trying to be caviar but wasn't quite there. That is caviar. Not bad for a product that only came into being 15 years ago as an offshoot of farming sturgeon for meat. At the beginning, we don't know the production. We never uh, f make farm caviar, never in the world. So we learn first how to ingrow all this fish, and the second time is to prepare the caviar. At this farm, 200 tonnes of female sturgeon are kept in fresh river water tanks until they can be harvested at the age of eight. But such a long lead time means a long and expensive wait. And during all these periods, you can have a lot of things different. You can have a lot of risk and, you, and perhaps at the end you have nothing. So here in my hands, I've got about $1,500 worth of caviar that I've taken fresh from the belly of this newly slaughtered sturgeon. And if you look closely, you can see each individual egg glistening. It's still attached to the membrane. So the next stage is going to be for us to go and sieve this through the mesh and clean it up. It's then tinned and can stay in these slip lid That's tins right. and mature for up to right. 12 months. What's more, it's now taking on a very international flavor. You have in the, in the Middle East, you have uh, Chinese, you have all in Europe, and you have also in South uh, America. You have two or three countries, so all over the world you have some project of production of caviar. And it seems customers approve. Farmed caviar took a while to catch on, as much for reasons of snobbery as gastronomy. But so far the switch to sustainable caviar has been a smooth one. And most people that enjoy eating caviar will continue to enjoy eating caviar. Um, so um, we're very happy with the sales of, of caviar, we haven't seen any drop off at all.